Assalamualaikum Dishi welcome from Bloggers Ideas and today I am going to do a detailed review of Dramatic Writing Masterclass course by David Mamet. But first let me do a quick introduction to the Masterclass platform. Masterclass is a course website where you get to learn about various subjects. What sets it apart from the other educational websites out there is that Masterclass is a curated course platform that is taught by the leading experts of given industries which is really unique in my opinion it has two pricing structures if you are looking into taking one particular course then you can pay 90 dollars and get a lifetime access to that course or you can opt for an all access pass where you can pay 180 dollars annually and access as many courses as you wish to i would strongly advise you to go for the second option as the content in this platform is simply exceptional and is really hard to choose any one particular course you would like to explore and know more about the courses and the knowledge that is shared by their amazing instructors but if you are sure and only want to look for one particular course then you can go for the 90 dollar option and get a lifelong access to that specific one Just to show you a quick overview of the masterclass homepage here is the profile Masterclass community is where you can start a discussion on any course or topic or network with fellow students who have signed up for this courses You can also gift an all access pass to your friend or family member who can be benefited from masterclass It will be like giving the gift of education and experience to your loved one You can access courses which deals with various topics and choose which one you would like to learn or which instructor you would like to listen to. So that was all about the masterclass homepage. Now coming back to our masterclass course about dramatic writing by David Mamet and whether this class is worth it for you or not. So let's go and have a look. So let's talk something about the tutor. The master class is taught by the Pulitzer Prize winner David Mamet. Throughout his life he has made a great contribution to the complete world. You must have heard about many of his great works like The Verdict, Homicide, The Spanish Prisoner and many more. He is a very famous playwright, screenwriter, author and even movie director and all of his work never fails to amaze us. He also received Tony nominations for his play Glengarry Glen Ross and Speed the Plow. He was also executive producer and frequent writer for the TV show The Unit. Born and raised in Chicago, David graduated from Vermont in 1969 with a degree in English literature. He considers the Chicago Public Library his alma mater. A prolific dramatist David won the 1984 Pulitzer Prize for Drama in Glengarry Glen Ross and earned a reputation for writing working class characters and for his trademark dialogue. In David and actor William found the Atlantic Theater Company and offered the non-profit theater. To date he has written 36 plays, 29 screenplays, 17 books and 11 movies. So this was all about the author David Mamet. Now that you know a lot about the tutor, let us move forward into knowing what the course is going to offer us. Are you really excited to know more about it? If you are, my friend, you have a great treat. Trust me. Through this video, I will not only tell you more about the dramatic writing masterclass, but would also give you some great glimpse into what this masterclass offers. So make sure you watch this video till the end. In this course, David teaches us the art of dramatic writing and lets us into his world of dramas, novels, and so much more. Throughout the class, you will be hearing many personal experiences and studying many case studies for better understanding. David, being into film directing, playwriting, script writing, and also a great author, teaches all that he has learned and experienced throughout his twenty-six video masterclass. This class may seem short for all his experiences, but David does share most of his valuable learning throughout the class. Now coming to coming to this master class, you start this class from the class trailer and introduction. 
Moving on to knowing more about the tutor and then diving straight into the various section of this class. This master class has seven sections that are further divided into total of 25 subsections. Every section is perfectly divided into knowledgeable lessons and are approximately for 10 to 15 minutes long. If you are looking for an astonishing learning curve that not only provides you for greater knowledge but also motivates you, then you should definitely take this class. David Mamet has so much to offer and this master class is for about 4 hours. Yes, you heard me right. David teaches you for the total of 282 minutes and you get to learn directly from him. And the best part, you can complete this course at your own place. Along with great lessons, you also get access to a wonderful workbook. This 59 page long workbook has all the class related material along with supplements that will help you to understand the class very easily. Now let us take a look at all the sections and peek into what each section has to offer. I will also brief you about what each lesson offers you. The first section is about the purpose and rules of drama. In this section, David teaches the very essence and purpose of drama. He says, drama is an outlet for expressing what preoccupies us. This section has four lessons and is about four minutes long. The first lesson in this section is about purpose of drama. In this lesson, David teaches the process of recognizing a drama and identifying its purpose. He tells us about the points at which the drama becomes really entertaining and not just means of teaching. The second section is continuation of the first lesson. In this lesson, David teaches how a drama functions as a myth and the way in which it has an effect on humanity. He provides a great outlet for expressing the issues that preoccupy us through great drama movies. The third lesson is about dramatic rules. In this lesson, David teaches us how we can keep our story simple yet appealing to the audience. He gives us various tricks and techniques that we can use to keep the hero's journey at the heart of our narrative. The fourth lesson is the continuation of the third. In this lesson, David teaches how to decide what remains in your story and what gets cut off. He teaches how to identify the parts that can be deleted from the script and helps us that what are the master of rules of writing and how you master it and how it helps your script to get better for drama writing. The second section is about developing and structuring the story. In this section, David teaches us how to structure the plot and harness your personal experiences like fantasies for drama. He also teaches us to identify what the character really is and how to make it better. This section is about 1 hour and 46 minutes long and has 7 subsections. So let us go and take a look at the subsections. The first lesson in this section is about story ideas. In this lesson, David teaches us how to transform your fantasies and experiences into drama. He asks you that how do you look for drama at plays that we least expect to find them and then it helps us to discover great inspiration behind several of his plays. The second lesson is about character. In this lesson, David teaches us how to create great characters and how to avoid the very common mistakes that writers make while doing so. He also teaches us what a character really is and truly means. The third lesson is about plot. David says that plot is paramount. In this lesson, David teaches us how to find the correct plot that will perfectly match our scene. He helps us to become familiar with the various essential ingredients that make up a good plot. The fourth lesson is about structuring the plot. In this lesson, David teaches us various methods and techniques that he uses to structure his plots and to connect the plot's point. The fifth lesson is a continuation of structuring the plot. In this lesson, David teaches how to achieve cohesion across acts and give us more insight into 
ins and outs of structures of three act play the sixth lesson is a case study structuring the plot american buffalo in this lesson david discusses the american buffalo with us and helps us understand the entire plot he also tells us how the narrative speaks directly on a deep human level the seventh lesson is yet another case study structuring the plot glenary glen rose in this lesson david tells us about his inspiration behind glenary glen rose and explains the differences between a drama and a tragedy the third section is about dialogue and scenes in this section david teaches us how to develop his signature style he also teaches us what informs a dialogue and what every scene must contain this section is about 43 minutes long and has four subsections let us discover what each subsection has to offer us the first lesson is about dialogue in this lesson david teaches us how he developed his mammoth speech style for dialogue writing he helps us to identify where to draw inspiration from and how and when to get great dialogues The second lesson is continuation of the first lesson dialogue. In this lesson David teaches us how to achieve a rhythm in your character's speech pattern. He also helps us to find out what informs and motivates a dialogue. The third lesson is about narration and exposition. I found this lesson to be very exciting. David starts his lesson by saying writing drama is not same as conveying information. A dramatic job is to entertain not bore the audience. True, isn't it? In this lesson David teaches us how to recognize unnecessary narration that may bore a drama. He also helps in identifying explosions. The fourth lesson is about scenes. In this lesson David teaches the three essential things of every scene and how to recognize and delete unnecessary things from your script. The fourth session is about writing process. In this lesson David discusses his journey and source of inspiration. He also tells us about the difficulties he faced and how he overcame them. In this session has two subsection and is 21 minutes long. The first lesson is about writing process. In this lesson David discusses his personal tale of how he began writing and tells us how he deals with the writer's block he also tells how he always looks at hemingway for his inspiration the second lesson is continuation of the first writing process in this lesson david tells us the difference between him and other artists he says that there isn't an easy way to fix the script and that there is a difference between writing and dreaming about writing Fifth section is about writing for the audience. David teaches us that it is important for an artist to find out what the audience is looking for. You must know what your responsibility is to them as a writer. The section is further divided into three subsections. The first lesson in this section is about audience. David talks about how to reach out to the audience. He says that the audience will only respond when they are produced with voluntary actions to respond. He believes that you need to know what the audience is looking for when they come to the theater and how to learn from them. According to him, the best teachers you can get as an artist is the audience. Keeping the audience entertained while not flattering them is very important. The second lesson in this section is about lies and truth. He tells you that not to lie and try finding the truth. The audience comes to hear the truth, so it is important as an artist for you to do the right thing. Your responsibility as a writer is not to lie. David discusses the audience is come to theater to hear the truth and it is our responsibility to give them the truth and not lie. He gives you a few examples of conveying the truth. from his most famous plays the third lesson is a continuation of the previous chapter david continues his talk about lies and truth through this most controversial work 
He discusses that it is important to tell the uncomfortable truth about sex, education, and race. He talks about his controversial play, Olenana and Race. Next section is about writing for actors. David talks about exploring the role of theatre director, how important it is to cast the right actor and what is required for great actors. Also, what they should and shouldn't do. This section is divided into two subsections. Let us take a look. The first lesson in this section is about actors. David teaches you about the role of the theatre director and how he views what makes a great actor. He goes on about how to cast the right ones for your play. He looks for an acting technique more than the actor. He talks about the skills required as an actor. The second lesson is a continuation of the previous chapter. David continues his talk about actors. David tells you what he believes great actors should and shouldn't do. Actors should always leave room for the unforeseeable. He believes that the actor shouldn't try to get anything from the audience. He further talks about the relationship between actors and dramatists. The seventh section is about the life of dramas. In this final chapter, David teaches you to learn the one thing you should avoid in order to create a path towards becoming a writer. The road to becoming a writer is difficult and filled with uncertainty. Let us take a look into this final section which is divided into three subsections. The first lesson in this section is about a life of dramas. In this life is filled with uncertainty but with sufficient amount of dedication and passion towards your craft, you can lead beyond your success. As a writer, you need to learn who to face this uncertainty. When Things get terrible, you need to learn that it is not that bad. If you keep your focus and dedication on you, you can go beyond your hard work and create a successful path. The second lesson is a continuation of the previous chapter, The Life of Dramas. David shares with you his experience about self-doubt common amongst writers. He teaches you how he overcame it and the thing you should do to avoid in order to create a path for yourself to become a writer. He tells you to discover what is stopping you and how you can overcome it. The third and the final lesson is a closing chapter by David. David closes the class with some parting words. He goes over an emotional story from one of his favorite science fiction novels. Now that you know all about what the masterclass has to offer you, let us move forward to discussing who should be taking up this course. Talking about who should be taking this course, you might be thinking that this dramatic writing masterclass is designed only for professionals like, but wait, let me correct you here. Even if you are a beginner or an experienced writer, this masterclass has everything to help you at any point in your writing journey. All you need is a pen and some love for words. David has so much to offer you that I can never imagine he will say so much and share so much of his experiences with us. Some pros of this course. You get to spend more than 280 minutes with David Mamet, which wouldn't have been possible if it hadn't been the masterclass platform. You can be sitting in any part of the world and listening to this masterclass. You get to learn about all first-hand experiences of this great writer who has influenced so many lives. You get to practice all the exercises designed by David for you and also get to experience all the great case studies discussed by David Mamet. You get various tips, advices, learn about the do's and don'ts of this part. You get to learn how to overcome all your difficulties and how to bring out the best in you. And also, you get access to a huge like-minded community with which you can easily interact and share all your difficulties and successes.
grateful love to share my personal experience. I have loved writing from a very young age and I have written so many poems, stories and I always wanted to do so much more. I have even tried writing my own novel but I never finished it. I have been a huge fan of David Mamet's work and I have been looking forward from learning from him. So, when I heard about this masterclass, I found it to be the perfect opportunity for me to learn from David at a very, very reasonable price. Though it was a virtual class, but David's teaching and delivery methods made every second of it feel real for me. I personally have found this class to be very beneficial for me and I hope you too will find it worth your time and money. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review video. We would love to hear your thoughts about this same in the comment section below. Also, I highly recommend the Drama Writing Masterclass course by David Mamet. And if you wish to pursue this masterclass, you can find all the details to the masterclass in the description box below. Also, if you really like this review, then please like and share this video. And for more such review videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And one last thing I would tell you before leaving is that do click the bell icon because every time we come online or we post a video, you are going to get notified. See you.